All right then, the USB is in, as you can see, I'm already in the BIOS. Let's get on and get it installed, shall we? Save and exit, let's go. Okay, so what we got? Legacy, we'll just do Cache OS. And uh, we'll just do this one. I am very interested to have a go on this one because so many people are rating it. But I've got a theory that once you find a distro that you really like and that works really well for you, very rare that you change. Let me know in the comments, how many distros did you get to before you landed on Cache OS? Or is it the first one that you tried that worked so well that you decided, I'm not going anywhere now, I'm staying here. I also think it's hard to switch once you've got yourself established on a distro. It's a little bit tricky to switch. Well, it's not tricky. What I mean to say is it's effort to switch. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? There we go. That looks very familiar. Right, okay. So what we got here? Uh, da, 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 launch installer. Let's do it. You are on an older version of Cache OS ISO. Please consider using the latest version for installations. Right, okay. Meh. It'll do all the updates, right? Surely it'll do the updates. Yeah, of course it will. Uh, choose a bootloader. System D. Okay. Doing something in the background. There we go. Right then. So this is slightly different than what I'm used to. I guess isn't there's no... Did I see British English? Oh, yeah. See, that's cool. We'll take that one. That's a win. Uh, we're in London. That's fine. English. Uh, so which one's language? Oh, no, this one. That's... Well, we'll just do that. Keyboard. That's fine. We're going to erase the disk, but we're going to erase... I think it's that one. But you know what? I can't remember which one it is now. Eh, doesn't matter. Windows is long gone. Yep, do that. There's something already on it. Ah, screw it. Oh, we should do the XT4. Next... Do you want to encrypt? Oh, that's interesting. You've got all of the different spins to choose now. Well, we're going to stick with what we know. Huh. I might have to try some of these at some point. That's quite cool. I'm not going to lie. Right, next. Then you get to choose packages. Um, all right. Okay. Accessibility tools. I haven't got a printer. I don't think I need any of those. Does that mean you can install multiple the desktop environments? I thought they recommend that you don't do that. Next. Let's do AGL. That will do. Password. Okay, next. It's telling me what it's going to be doing. That's all good. Let's go install. Install now. Let's go. So I think me not using the latest ISO, all that means is going to have to do a little bit of extra work to get everything updated, right? Unless there's some bugs in that this ISO, maybe. I don't know. But I couldn't be asked to go and download it and burn it all onto a USB again. Just want to get this one done. It's going to be interesting to see what um, software installer or what the equivalent to discover is on Cache OS, if there is. I know there's the AUR, which is the Arch user repository. You can find everything. I mean, it looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. So all packages compiled for your CPU architecture. Optimize packages with Bolt, whatever that is. And then and then CPP, whatever that is. It's all very uh, technical. And I don't know what any of it means. But so many of you rate this so i had to try it didn't i really be rude not to in fact some people commented on the fact that i commented on cache os without even trying it i was always planning to try it and here we are i'm not gonna lie it is right in saying that it offers an easy installation that was one of the easiest ones so far what's this this is the 14th now that i've installed so i'm gonna get kind of get used to the install process the more you do it but that that was pretty straightforward yeah, there's lots of words in there I don't recognize. Built with Clang, whatever that is. With Thin LTO, no idea. Auto FTO, no idea. Propeller optimizations, no idea. Cache source, tomato source. BBR version 3, don't even know what version 1 is. And the ZSTD doesn't sound very pleasant. Lots to read though as you're going through the install process. All done, restart now. Okay, that's pretty painless. Restart now and then I need to press finish and uh, press done. Now there is a name for that spinny thing, but I can't remember what it's called. Somebody told me in the comments, you know, the spinny thing, you can change it to be different things apparently. So we're about 10 minutes into the recording and we're pretty much, looks like it's there. Was it rebooting it? Oh no, it looks like it's rebooting. Oh no, there we go. Huh, there's my mouse. I've got no mouse. Okay, um, got no keyboard either. So it hasn't detected my keyboard or mouse. That's not ideal, is it? Let me unplug it and plug it back in again. Oh, there we go. So that's unplug my mouse and plug it back in. What about keyboard? Yay, there we go. Right, um, password. And we are in. So it says install apps, games. Right, is Steam installed already? So you can't call this a gaming distro, guys. Come on. Steam isn't even installed, is it? This is not a gaming distro. <laughs> so stop saying it is. Uh, right, okay. So what do we need to do to get 
uh, steam and stores. So we just do steam in here. Okay. Repositories. Steam. Oh, okay. This is nice. This is neat though. I guess I guess what people like so much about this is what you don't get with Fedora is you get a baseline install and then you build up on top of it, which is kind of what Arch is all about, right? You build your base install and then you can just add whatever you want on top of it so you don't get crap on there that you don't really need. Now, I don't know what I need for all of these. Uh, that was digital software delivery system. Let's just install that and go, okay. Uh, pursue. That's quite neat. It's a way of getting people to use the uh, terminal without actually using the terminal. Processing, finished, okay. So we'll close that. What else would we need? Uh, repo. Oh, there's so much in here. I guess you kind of need to know what exactly what it is. Well, I'm just going to see what happens if I run Steam now. Do I need to install drivers for my graphics card? I'll we'll put in uh, repo and then Misa. What can Misa device select? No, that's all installed by the looks of it. No, it doesn't look any of them the drivers though. Hmm, okay. Let's see what happens. So if we go down to here and go Steam, my phone, is it running? Yep. Just got to be patient with these things. Oh, hardware survey. Yeah, absolutely. Because we're on Linux. Submit results. What we're running? Cache OS. Let's go. So I'm doing my bit. I'm doing my bit for Linux. Right. Okay. So let's, uh, what should we install? I want to do it Arc Raider. I don't know if I got the audio sorted though. So I don't really want to play Arc Raiders. Um, actually, June would be a good one to install. Let's do that. Because I kind of know how that plays. Oh, the thing is, this is a different setup than, uh, than my main PC. So, so as you can see here, if I just make that full screen and just zoom out, you can see I'm running a Ryzen 7 3800X with a 6600XT and 16 gig. So it's not as high a spec as my main PC. So I think what I'll do is I'll play it on here and then I'll record me playing it on Fedora on the same system. I'm not I'm not into doing benchmarking. That's not what I want to do with this channel, but I am interested to see what all the fuss is about. So we'll do that. So whilst that's happening, let's have a look at what else we get. So it's telling me I've got a new game. What's got a new to it? So that's going to be Proton, isn't it? Proton QT. If I go back to, where, where's where's the uh, welcome thing? How do I get to that then? Um, all applications, Cashy hello, there we go. The software. All oh, right, okay. So that's a list of all of the software. Installed apps. Oh, install apps, sorry. Oh, apps and tweaks. What's that all about? System update. Oh, I haven't done that yet, have I? Remove DB lock. Install gaming packages. Okay. Cashy extra version three. Heroic. Okay, that makes sense. What's all this other stuff though? Mango HUD, I know what that is. Let's just do yes. That's that's pretty cool. Pac-Man, you know. Oh, loads of errors there. I can't find some stuff. Now, I don't know if there's any audio. Press enter to exit. Okay, that's quite neat. Cache OS package installer. Okay, so we're back to that again. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it is pretty cool. Uh where are we with the install? Half nearly halfway. System update. There's nothing to do, okay. So you don't even have to go into a terminal huh now that is interesting already done and then software what what is all that? oh that's that isn't it again apps and tweaks nope uh installed apps mail internet graphics that's gonna have critter and stuff like that i suppose gimp color paint oh so it doesn't even install all the kde stuff huh my paint all right how are we doing with the install nearly there let's see if the audio is working Think of the ad revenue. The three biggest... Hello Linux gamers and welcome to PUBG Black Budget. We will. So that's that's my main machine. And then if I go back into console, that's my the one that we're on now. I know I just showed that a minute ago, but it's good to compare the two, right? Oh, that's messed that up, isn't it? Let's just do that. Right, are we in, are we installed yet? It's gonna be weird playing this after playing so much Arc Raider. Where the movement is so good. I do remember this being a little bit clunky. All right, there we go. So what we're running at. 50 FPS. And I'm, I'm, the reason I'm looking at it, it looks good though. It does look good. CPU at 28, GPU at 99, which is good. 50 FPS. Little bit of a hitch there. The fact that it's night time is not helpful. Pretty sure I've got a, a 
torch I can use. There we go. I mean, it is quite a built-up area. This, the base I've made pretty grand, even though I haven't really filled it up with anything yet. Okay. So it's certainly playable. Got some hitching there. Some tearing. I've not, as you got, as you know, I'm not going to go in and change anything on the settings because I want to keep it exactly the same. Uh, but yeah, wrong's great. I don't want to go off and do anything. I will end up dying. Uh, got no storage space for water. I'm not playing. I'm not supposed to be playing, am I? So there you go. That was a uh, Cache OS. That was pretty straightforward. It worked great. It seemed very lightweight. It installed very quickly. The game runs fine. Fan's kicking off now. I can hear the fan going. Although like 63C and 60 degrees on the GPU. Uh, and June is running surprisingly well on the older hardware. So there we go. I think, as I said earlier, changing from a distro that you've already established yourself with and you've built your understanding on is a bit of a challenge. Not because it's hard to do, but because there's no need for you to do it. Now, is there a need for me to switch over to Cache OS? No, not really. I honestly think that if Cache OS was the first distro that I found when switching from Windows to Steam OS and then to the next distro, then I'd still be on Cache OS. The fact that I land on Fedora and I've spent six months on Fedora means I'm comfortable with Fedora. So I don't think it is a case of which one's best. I mean, this is great. I'm not going to lie. I am surprised out of all of the other ones that I've tried, this one has been great. But is it still enough to pull me away from Fedora? I don't know that it is because I've already established myself with Fedora and it does what I need it to do. So I'm a little bit confused. Is Cache OS a great gaming distro? Well, I've just proven you can play games on it. So yes, although it's not really a gaming distro because I had to install Steam, but I understand why I had to install Steam because they don't want to assume that you want Steam installed, which is great. So there we go. I don't know what to say, uh, apart from thank you for <laughs> all shouting at me for trying Cache OS. I've tried it now, but I still don't think I'm going to go and switch from Fedora. And it's nothing to do with Cache OS being bad. It's just that I'm on Fedora and it's working. And I truly believe that any of the other distros that I've tried throughout this series was the first distro that I landed on, I'd probably feel the same way. If you've made it this far, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Whatever engagement that you've done, I do really, really appreciate it. And I plan to keep this going and trying all sorts of distros and all sorts of things. I've got a couple of ideas for things in the future, so please bear with me. As always, please, please, please consider putting a comment down below or just leaving an emoji for the sake of engagement. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and you guys take care and I'll catch you in the next one.